say what you want to say about Craig Butler, but one thing for sure is that he delivers and he delivered again. Jamaica have a lifeline. How about this? Big up Gunners, I hear that. Don't know something that Gunners say, but big up Gunners. The 16 year old Sean Layton of the Phoenix All Stars Academy and formerly of reigning Manning Cup champions Mona High. He's on his way to London to join Premier League club Chelsea. If you're new here, help us to get to our goal of 3,500 subscribers before the end of this month. It's a mighty task, but I know you guys can do it. A whole lot of you guys keep on watching the video and are not subscribing. So if you are one of those guys, just go ahead right now and hit that fat red subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we do post videos. Also, get a video to 100 likes. Every single video we do on this channel should get to 100 hundred likes so if you like the video you respect the content you love what we do right here just hit the like button it literally is right there on the video that you're watching right now so just hit that like button and ensure that this video gets to 100 likes now there you have it craig butler has done it again and his phoenix all-star academy will be sending another mining cup star to chelsea football club and this time it's mona high's sean layton now, Casey Butler, who is the daughter of Craig Butler, mentioned in an interview with Sportsmax that her academy could pull off yet another tremendous transfer for a teenager in schoolboy football, sending them directly from schoolboy football all the way up to the top leagues in England. I'm immensely proud. Um, I'm very grateful that we can continue to develop players and put them in positions to better themselves and better the country. And be better for their families as well. So I'm incredibly proud of another product of Phoenix, essentially. Sean Layton also went on to mention that he is very impressed and very pleased with the work that has been put in um, for his future, the development. Um, they went on to say that his dad had a dream even before he was born, right? And he is living that dream um, to, to the fullest, right? And he is going to do his best to make it professionally and to give it his best shot at Chelsea Football Club. He thanked Phoenix All-Star Academy, he thanked Craig Butler, he thanked his family and all the support that he has gotten that has um, helped him to reach this far. If you're going to be that far, reach this far in football, you do really need a good support system and Leighton for sure has that. John Leighton also went on to speak about not only Craig Butler's coaching style, but also the fact that he has a different type of love, a tough love when it comes to his coaching that the players have come to respect. Like, you know, as a kid, when you're receiving tough love, you might not understand why you're receiving it. But he went on to say that at the end of the day, he's just doing it because he loves them and he wants the best for them. Well, his coaching is really tough love. He really, he really cares about you. So anything you do wrong, he's going to, you know, penalize you about it. So to get, he just, that's because he loves you. He wants you to get it right. So anyway, you take it. He still loves you at the end of the day. Right. So everyone is on board. And when they're seeing the results that he's giving, sending players to Aston Villa for trials, sending players to Newcastle for trials, getting um, Dijon Whisper Richards into Chelsea Football Club. And no, Sean Layton will be with Chelsea Football Club. It is very easy to buy in to that tough love and to just go through whatever you need to go through because you know that you can see a light at the end of that tunnel. Sean also went on to speak about his journey after winning the Manning Cup last year with Mona, um, his journey throughout Europe and the different clubs that he played for um, or played against um, during his time in Europe before coming back to Jamaica. Went on a trip um, this year in the summer, I think it was July to August. July to August yeah. And we played against some teams up there in England and I went and at the end of the trip, I went to Genk for a week to train with the um, under-18s and then come back here to Mining Cup. So I have to say, people, this is a very, very good look. And I think it's about time that we start to give Phoenix All-Stars Academy and specifically Craig Butler their flowers, right? Because it's they are really, really shedding a good light and really giving these youngsters a whole lot of opportunities to go to England from their training in Jamaica. So yes, they do go to England for trials. They do go to England to play against other teams, but Craig Butler is really using his links and whatever he's learned and really brought it back into his coaching and development of players, right? He's a very tough nut, right? So 
Yeah, bro. You have to, well, I think it's about time we start to give Craig Butler his flaws because he's continuously using the same um, blueprint that he talks about so much on so many different players and sending them to the highest level. But there's one thing, though, with that blueprint. It does not see a whole lot of goalkeepers, centre-backs, or deep-line midfielders come through. And I think that is the next thing that Craig Butler should really start working on, getting out some defensive-minded players out there as well, you know? Because we're only seeing the attackers. Sean Layton himself is a winger, right? So we want to see some more midfielders. Jamaica is very, very weak in that midfield. And if he can be sending a whole lot of deep-line playmakers, deep-line midfielders, right? Or even centre-backs, wing-backs, players like that. Oh, that would be an even better look. But so far, so good. He's been following the blueprint that he has set up. From Leon Bailey to Dijon Richards, um, he speaks so highly of um, Denzel McKenzie, right? So we're looking for high things from him, or we have high hopes of him. And no, Sean Layton, the 16-year-old, will be signing for Chelsea Football Club, the second player to do that from Phoenix Academy in the past two years. Now, speaking about Chelsea and speaking about Dijon Whisper Richards, um, he is still recovering from his injury, and I... Um, heard, I just overheard that he is carefully being integrated, right? It's very, very carefully. Remember, he had a, a, a surgery on his knee that is being sorted out, and I got news that his return is imminent, right? So you guys just need to just be patient. I know there are a whole lot of Whisper fans out there that really want to see him in the academy and really want to see him on the pitch again. But yeah, it's just be patient. And it is just a matter of time as it relates to Dijon Whisper Richards. Now, just before I let you guys go, I just want to quickly review match week six of the Jamaica Premier League. I'll let you guys know what the score lines were for those games. So on the Sunday set of fixtures, we saw Umber Lion play against Montego Bay United, and that match ended Nilal at the Effortville Community Center. Then we had Portmore United play Chapleton Maroons. Who Chapleton Maroons had a very good start too. Um, the new Premier League season, but they suffered a loss to Portmore United by two goals to one at home. Um, Portmore United played at home at the Ferdinita Park. Um, then heading on to the Wembley Centre of Excellence, Veer Phoenix United Football Club faced Dumbo Holding Football Club, who is at rock bottom in the table. They have not had a brilliant start to the season. Um, they've sucked their manager already. They have a new coach and it's still the same string of results. Um, so yeah, Veer Phoenix won that game by three goals to nil, and Rumbelly Kyle Butler ended that game with an assist as well. It looks as if he's getting his farm up. Um, so yeah, man, um, good to see. Hopefully, he continues. No, it was the double header at Savannah Park, um, starting off with Arnett Gardens against Mullines United, and Mullines United lost that game by three goals to nil, uh, which should have been their home game. Um, then heading on to Cavaliers Football Club, they had a two-all draw with Mount Pleasant in a very enticing match. That one was very, very good to see. Now heading over into the Monday night fixtures, um, Tivoli Gardens did face Racing United at Waterhouse Mini Stadium. And I have to tell you, Racing United are my team, but brother, we need for shape up because there's no way that Tivoli United should have won that game. One chance, one goal. Late goal as well. One one love at Bob after Biggs got two clear cut chances to finish off the game early on in the first half. And Racing United did move on to regret that. Um, those those misses. So yeah, Racing United a decent start to the season, but they really need to work on their finishing. Everything else looks solid, but they need to be taking chances when they get them because football is a very brutal game and the last game was waterhouse versus harbor view and that game ended one nil courtesy of a goal by atafry by grape who is now the leading goal scorer in the league with five goals so hey guys that was your jamaica premier league review remember like the video subscribe comment and share get the video to 100 subscribers not 100 subscribers get the video to 3000 500 subscribers get us to 3500 subscribers and get this video to 100 likes thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time peace jamaica have a lifeline how about this big up gunners i hear that don't know something that gunners say, but big up gunners